News 4 Tucson Sports Director Paul Cicala continues our team coverage. He joins us live now from the Epicenter in Glendale. And Paul, how's it going out there? It's just got to be a whirlwind of excitement. Lots of excitement here in Maricopa County. We, of course, are just about five days away from Super Bowl Sunday, all going down in the stadium that you see just behind me. And for now, it's all about covering the every move of the Patriots and Seattle Seahawks. And that also means that literally hundreds of reporters from all parts of the world are here in Arizona doing just that, covering Super Bowl Media Day. It's crazy. This is what it, the USA is all about. This is American sports. American sports at its best. And it's Kyoshi Mio's job to also promote it in the Far East. The photographer for NFL.com Japan is one of the scores of journalists at Super Bowl Media Day. So, my friend, what do the Japanese think about American football? Well, half the people have no clue what's going on. They say, you know, the rules are too difficult to understand. But other half the people, they just love the sports. It's so exciting, you know, boom. Boom! It's definitely hard-hitting and fast-paced. One reason, one of the most popular on-air personalities in this hemisphere. This is my 13th Super Bowl. Mexico City's Inez Sainz is also thrilled for another Super Bowl run. Well, actually, it's fantastic. I'm very, very proud to, to know that they are interested in my job. My, my country is crazy about NFL. A craziness that goes beyond borders. And most foreign journalists have told me they appreciate the Arizona hospitality. So I figured I'd also show my gratitude to them. Let me see if I can practice my Japanese a little bit. America, Arizona, ni irashaimas. Watakushi, tachi. No kako ni irashaimasu. In a nutshell, I told him, welcome to Arizona and America in Japanese. And what was his response? Totemo ides. I don't know what to say, thank you. Was it very good? Who taught you that? Thanks, my friend. Now time to continue spreading love for the Seahawks, Patriots, American football, and of course, Arizona. I love Arizona. Arizona is a great place to be. Oh, it certainly is, and as much fun as it is for teams and reporters to cover Super Bowl Media Day, of course, it's an obvious there are some players that don't prefer it. One of those players includes Marshawn Lynch. Coming up on News 4 Tucson at 6 p.m., we'll try our best to talk to Marshawn Lynch and hopefully learn a bit more about him. Like I said, we gave it the good old college try, talking to the star running back from Seattle. Look out for that and much more later at 6. Reporting live from Glendale, Arizona, Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson. Always interesting and entertaining Media Day. Thanks, Paul. All right. It was Media Day Q&A. Here's Sports Director Paul C. Kala with more. As you know, Super Bowl Media Day is one of the most highly anticipated events of the entire week. It's a chance for reporters to get up close and personal with the Patriots and the Seahawks. It's also a chance to truly get to know some of the crazier journalists, if you will. You be the judge. Boo! 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 Meet Pick Boy. He says he's from Nickelodeon Sports and has magical powers that derive from his microphone, giving new meaning to the term Magic Mike. I was going to go out for a, uh, you know, a nice walk earlier today, and they're like, hey, can you swing by Media Day again? I'm like, well, okay. All right, that established. Pick Boy is one of the handful of people at Super Bowl Media Day dressing up and getting a little goofy, sometimes at the player's expense. I don't look forward to it, but I mean, I do it, but it's just... You get a laugh out of it? Yeah, yeah. Think it's something you're going to look back at and say, man, this is it is, it is because it's some stuff that I don't do, right? So I, obviously, it's something that I can laugh at. Oh yeah, they're really psyched to see me. That's you know pretty much the reason. You know, I'm, like, a lot of the players are like, is Pick Boy coming? Because if he's not coming, I'm gonna march on Lynch this thing. I'm not even going out there. But Mexico City reporter Ines Signs certainly is. She's covered 13 Super Bowls. I believe the media day is for media. They could do anything if they are comfortable with that. I, I don't have any problem with that. Well, I'm here to covering all the angles, all the action. You have one camera, I have an eight, compadre. Yes, you do. So how about you add me to the list? Let me take a selfie. You want to be in the selfie? Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl Media Day, once again, was a barrel of fun. 
and laughs. <laughs> I am still laughing as we speak. All right, coming up a bit later in sports, we will continue our coverage here on the Super Bowl. We'll talk to some of the players themselves. And now we continue our team coverage here in the Phoenix area. And we're going to throw it out to Lauren Reimer, who has a bit more about the Super Bowl social media. Of all the Super Bowl sports director Paul Sicala was there, so he won't get fined. That's a quote, right, Paul? That's true. Hey, I certainly try my best to follow all the rules all the time, so I don't think I'll be fine today. But Marshawn Lynch from the Seattle Seahawks, well, that is a different story, my friends. Why is that? Get this. He has been fined over $100,000 in the last couple of years for refusing to talk to the media. But today at Super Bowl Media Day, he actually showed up. Now, did he talk? That's the question. And what did he say? Well, he said a lot of this. Hey, I'm just here so I don't get fined. A line so fairly predictable for Seattle Seahawks running back Marshawn Lynch, who generally meets with the media not by choice, but because the NFL says all players, including him, have to be available to the press. Right, Marshawn? I'm going to answer with the same answer, so y'all can shoot if y'all please. Yes, that is all Lynch would say, and I was in the front row, so I know he heard me. I'm just here so I won't get fined. We get the point, my friend. So what do teammates like the always outspoken Richard Sherman think? I don't think they should be obligated any more than the commissioner is obligated to speak to the media. Um, I think that if we're if the players are going to be obligated to speak to the media, then every, every one of the NFL personnel should be obligated to speak to the media weekly. Seattle coach Pete Carroll says Marshawn's a good guy with a bit of stage fright. That's all. He's a treasure, and I think people will, will, will realize that more as they, as they hear and see more of him. He's going to give it to you as he sees fit, and uh, I support the heck out of him. And so do I. That's why I gave it the old college try and tried my best to learn more about Marshawn. Here goes. Marshawn Lynch, what are your thoughts of Arizona? I'm here so I won't get fined. What's your favorite color? I'm here so I won't get fined. Marshawn, what do you say to all the kids that look up to you? I'm here so I won't get fined. And in this case, the NFL will accommodate Lynch, most likely by not finding him again for saying, I'm here so I won't get fined. And I am here just to bring you, the viewers, some feature stories on the athletes themselves. Of course, the Seattle Seahawks and the Patriots. Now, in Marshawn Lynch's defense, he's not such a bad guy. He is a bit afraid of the media in many ways. But uh, he's a stand-up guy in the sense that when it comes to donating his time and money with charities and within the community, he is top-notch among many pro athletes. Now, coming up later in sports, we'll talk a little bit more about the game itself and what it takes to stop former Arizona standout Rob Gronkowski. Also, did you know Rob Gronkowski can sing? We'll hear him in just a bit. Reporting live from Glendale, Arizona, Paul Cicala, News 4, Tucson. Awesome. We get to hear it.